Now, was this strictly necessary? It's how you know it's a mature game. Wash your hands. Extremely good point. Just gonna head back to the bathroom. And wash my hands. No, I, I cannot do so. A little cultural appropriation with the, you know, wigwam in the room, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Kid's room is bigger than our whole apartment, but it's not like I'm upset or anything. I gotta level with you. Nice house. It's a scary nighttime house? You're crazy, dude. This is like a dream house. No curtains or blinds. He's having so much fun. I agree. You should probably put some kind of coverings on the window just in case you desire like even the slightest bit of privacy, but straight up not turn it on the stereo. I know how these games roll. Million dollar home 20 inch TV. Hey man, the game's made in Europe, okay? They have small TVs over there. They don't share the same fetishization that we do. Having a large TV. Uh, he's an architect. The classic, ambiguous, rich guy job. Ooh, I was thinking today I'll drive a house. And by drive, I mean draw. There it is, okay. There's the living room on the left, bedroom on the... Ooh. Oh, that's, he's actually, he's an indie game developer. He's working on concept art for a, a voxel-based rail shooter. Dude, that's actually incredible. Nobody draws that straight? Why do you think the dude's an architect? My dad's an architect, and he has to use a ruler because the drawings have to be precise. No, I just freaking eyeball it, dude. Oh, wow. How hard could it be? It's just building something that people are going to live in. Oh, you got to tap it many times? The plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. <laughs> what are you talking about? What more is there to do? You gonna make a machine where you go inside of the actual drawing? It's a masterpiece. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. Mmm, yes. I will play with my human children. I know where the door is because I live here. Oh, it's one of those real swords. Hey! That's it. I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! I want to be Ned Stark. No, I want to be Ned Stark. Ooh, oh, all right. Me first! Me first! No, me first! Squeaky Wheel gets the grease, boys. All right, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. Hey. Yeah, I wanted to let go. Come on, Dad. Show us how yeah, strong show us you are. Big muscles. Be careful. Hang on. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Oh. Yeah. London! London! <laughs> nice jeans. Oh my lord. Did you get those at Blue Notes? This time you're done for. I want to be Harold Haroldson. For all your crimes, evil one. Ha! <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayers. <laughs> hey, me too. Unfortunately, there's only two swords, so I can't play with my friend. Come on, Jason. Hurry up! Give up! I am victorious. Watch out! Oh, oh drain the carotid artery. Kid is a hundred percent bleeding out right now. All his strength is leaving his body. Hit him with the visceral. Oh, that's right in the jugular. 
You that's no fair. You're down. You're so down. I can overpower my own 10-year-old son. 100%. Is that a cat? Oh. That was a really nice uh, son to let his disabled father win. Food's ready, kids. You coming in? That kid, is, he's, a, he's a saint. Oh, Ethan hasn't been the same since his accident. Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. We had eyes on him 10 seconds ago. Sean, what the fuck, dude? Those are my vinyls. Sean? What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, there's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. Well, what's not fair is that, you know, we got four full chickens for your birthday, but like a single parakeet goes down and it's like despondent. Oh, I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for a minute? I promise he won't be long. Sure, no problem. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Come on, honey. I want to go sp spend more time with mom. You're not cool, dad. Oh, have I lost my son by just staring openly in the middle distance? Jason. He couldn't have gone far. He was here a second ago. <laughs> yeah, just catching a little micro sleep. No big deal. Jason. 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 Okay, it's a little crazy, but. Jason. Yeah, oh, slightly more distressed. Jason. Oh, there he is. We found him. Jason, you really shouldn't wander off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in Please, here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come uh, like on. Like father, like son. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great. Teens hey, up. Hey, champ. What's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. Yeah, the mall balloon racket's a tough business, but somebody's got to do it. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. <laughs> it's really crowded in here. I'm sorry. I have to go. I have to go grab my son. I'll be back to sir, give you. You owe me two dollars. I'll be back to give you the two bucks. Like you don't really have to worry about that. I'm just being honest with you. It's two dollars. I'm just leveling with you. I'm good for it. I'll be back in mere moments with your money, sir. As you can see, my son is running away. Keep the change. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think Kate would be mad. Jason! Jason! Honestly, I blame the balloon Jason! salesman like a hundred percent. Jason! Jason! <laughs> I know it's like a Jason! It's a moment of some gravitas. Jason! They could have recorded maybe like like 10 or 20 sort of yells. Jason! 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 Yo, it's the busiest Jason! day in mall history. Hey man, watch it, dude. Jason! Hey man, the Orange Julius has Jason! $6 OJ today. Relax. Everybody's gonna get a turn. Shit! 
It's symbolism. No. What happens if we made a town of the world's dumbest kids, the world's most negligent parents, and the world's most incompetent drivers? Find out next time on Nightmare Town. Hey, I'm Ethan. I drive a 2001 assistant director, Steve McKibley. Jason? Oh, wait, right. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. Shut up, Dad. You killed my brother. Still haven't forgiven you, man. I mean, why didn't I get a balloon? Ah, oh, they grow up so slow these days. Seems like just yesterday, two years ago, he looked exactly this. You know how kids are. Two years go by and you're like, have you aged at all? Just a standard 12-year-old boy right there. Standard three-foot-tall 12-year-old boy. I'll just leave my young son unattended once more and... Go wherever my mind takes me. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. Play a little... Shoot some hoops back here. What do you want me to do? Oh, Sean! Sean, I just hit a free throw, dude! Oh, great. That one's your fault, Sean. You weren't watching. Sean, get the camera. <laughs> nice, nice yard, really, if you don't stop and think about it. So I'm guessing you kind of got fleeced in the divorce. Oh, this is healthy. Hey, stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. At least she let him keep the TV. <laughs> oh, did he keep the wigwam as well? <laughs> yep, there it is. I'm not leaving without this fucking wigwam. Oh, you can you can just have it. Don't be afraid to take a little pee in the toilet if you're curious, you know. It's dinner time. I'd better make something for Sean. That is really unfortunate juxtaposition. <laughs> <laughs> I left your dinner in the toilet shop. Here, take this. Here, take this pill. It'll make you feel better. Take this pill Thanks, and Dad. go get your dinner out of the toilet bowl. <laughs> Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? <laughs> well, you <laughs> slammed the door I in my I face. Just need some time. Didn't need any of your dinner. Just want to watch TV to all the time. The way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason Good wasn't night, your fault. She was an out-of-province driver. You're right, Jason was pretty stupid. Did you have to...
to let it linger. Got like a Tom Brady situation going on here. Oh! Ah! Sorry, Sean. Also, I promise I'll clean up that door <laughs> before you come over for the next time. Fugue state. That's what happens when you slam the door. Sean banished your ass. I told you not to wake me, Father. Is it possible he may be the origami killer? We do not know. Oh, at Carnaby Corner North. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Uh, is he gonna pull his gun? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor. Five dollars. Third floor on the left at the end of the corridor. Could buy a six inch Subway sandwich off the slightly premium menu for that. This is the one, just keep knocking. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Ooh, easy Wait. there. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Is this Jeremy Renner's dad? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Why'd you leave her $50? Shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? I already left my money on the table. My name what is Scott you... Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Buy or trick? He's not gonna call her a trick, right? Like... Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? Tricked her. Tricked her into thinking about her dead son. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. I was hosting X-Play with my friend Adam Sessler. Except him. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. Prostitute. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. It's only been eight minutes. I remember what time it was when I came in. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Take your 50 back, dude. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve to be compensated for her time. I'm just saying, like, how much do you get paid a day? You're a private investigator. You just gave her 50 bucks for eight minutes. When's the last time you had the mold removed from this place? <sighs> P 
Pretty classic strat. Keep your life-saving medicine in, like, uh, an ambiguous pocket. Lauren! <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby! It's me! Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. But I really wanted to see ya. Hello, I forgot $50 on your table. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Michael Rooker? Is everything alright? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Oh. Yeah! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> it's just mouth dialogue. <laughs> Boom! Oh. Messed that one up pretty bad. I trained at the voice Gracie Jim. Oh, that's a tough one. You gotta hit it multiple times. It's pretty spry for, you know, a middle-aged, overweight, asthmatic. I gotta be honest, I'm kicking the shit out of this guy. There's not gonna be a single prop left in this place once I'm done with it. Throw him into the clothing rack. See you again, asshole. That was so long. <laughs> you alright? Better than him, I guess. Why do you have a naked Batman? Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. You ever consider like installing I told him I didn't want to see him some anymore. locks on these doors? Well, you should be careful. They'll probably be back. And on that Sorry note, see you later. Rest. By the way, is there a second staircase in this place? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Are you a police officer now? Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. Are you- I'm really gonna love it here. Oh, you're not the same dude. You just look similar? The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. A you got a bag Asian Nam and Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. Okay. Oh, he's in the Neo from the Matrix. Video memo recording. Agent four seven zero two three. Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, <laughs> October fourth, two thousand and eleven. Time is eight fourteen a.m. Don't talk to me when I'm in the cyber world. I told you. I'm doing important detective work, ma. Fucking Jaeger bottle. Oscar Dal Tool. He's <laughs> got a two in his Unrelated friggin' name. Investigation. Unrelated. Oh, follow your nose, Naman. Hey, you there? What are you doing? Don't say your name. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Naman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Is he a Mike, former professional wrestler? He has, like, stop for five minutes. I can't hear myself. Thank you. vertical scars right away, all over Lieutenant. his forehead. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. No, let Tony, me put on my special I don't goggles see a here. Shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You Cyber got world never taught yes, me how to talk to another human being. Retreat back into my digital paradise where I'm safe. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. 
Seems dead, Airy. No visible signs of violence. No breathing. The corpse, I repeat, has no metabolic function. Airy comment. He's wearing a shirt. Chest. He a was a fucking Seahawks fan, Airy. Yeah, he's got some cum on his right leg, Airy. Blood analysis suggests it could be postmortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Yeah, it's called middle age, Jerry. Over. That's a joke. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Open and shut fucking case, Airy. Asian Nam and Jordan on the case. Airy, deploy tactical cleats. Airy, suction gloves. Oh, jeez. Airy, deploy spring shoes from Inspector Gadget, please. Authorization code N A H M I N J A H D I N Nam and Jaden. Airy, deploy like at least a small bit of rope with a fishing hook at the end of it. Uh, really, um, Norma Jordan's getting a little desperate here. The slight incline is very physically exhausting. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Yeah, it could also I mean, literally be anybody else's car, but no big fucking deal. Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. <laughs> oh my god. Should have worn my fucking vibrams. That's the wrong way. We don't want to go that way. Yeah, you're better you're better off. You're better off. You're better off sliding this way. You're better off. Oh, it's fucking making a mockery of the fucking FBI. Oh, now your fucking shoes too? Are you? God damn it, Norman! Watch where you're fucking going. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Nah, I'm just going for a fucking swim. No, what do I've you think? Enough. I'm leaving too. I'm JC Den. I mean, Nam and John is two different things. Take the glasses off. You haven't earned them. Really disturbing thing is that he has like a tan line around his eyes. Like the dude went to the beach but kept the glasses on the whole time. What a weirdo. <laughs> I gotta analyze the babes. They love the... Non proprietary open source headset that is not manufactured by fucking Google. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. This kid's giving me nothing. Do you want to eat something? Well, see you later, Sean. You know, I tried. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Every kid. They could be tough as a stone in the interrogation room, but you get them on a seesaw, they love it. This is going to be Come probably on, just slide. about the least fun seesaw in this kid's existence. Shoot him into the freaking moon. Yeah, <laughs> launch this nerd. Just jump on the seat. Turn him into a freaking Wile E. Coyote cartoon. Oh, give, like, instantaneously. 
How old are these kids? Oh, he's uh, his 16th birthday is next week. I got him a seesaw and some really tall platform shoes. Ah, right, well, see you later, Sean. It was a good time. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. Better get away from the seesaw. I'll find something else to do with him. Oh, what about this unoccupied thing right here? I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. And then we'll cross Great. the street together. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Oh. <laughs> faster! Faster! Come on! Faster! Faster! Kid, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I like it wasn't part of the four-man bobsled team. Some more ball bearings Whoa. in that thing. It did like two rotations. My head is spinning. <laughs> Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> I just picture like an astronaut playing this. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what we do. We just spin around. That's how we train. <laughs> we just get on the merry-go-round and spin. No, you got no. It's not like I have two PhDs. I used to be a fighter pilot. No, you just spin around to the playground a little bit. It's no big deal. You got it. Yeah, no, no. Don't worry about it. Neil Armstrong, he's just, you we always go, go hey way. Neil, show me the one where you I'll spin around. You. I want to go to outer space. Is this what Europeans think, like, American parks are like? It's like a normal park, but then there's one kind of carnival ride inside of it you have to pay for? Did I leave the lights on? Oh, I'm dead, by the way. Yeah, everyone's holding the Glock. You pretty much got it. All right on the merry-go-round, that'll be one gun, please. I like that. This guy's cardio is out of control. <laughs> Sean! Sean! He loves this TV. Nope, okay. Sean! No, it's a dog! It's like you've never even seen origami before. Oh, he's with Grace today! Oh, you idiot, of course! What? That was a whole lot of commotion for nothing. Oh, I unlocked a new bonus! You're right. Grace is gonna be a little upset. Now, Grace, you're never gonna guess what happened. Airy, put on the new episode of Bojack Horseman. Yeah, I don't want to watch tank shows today. Amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. All of the technology of the future. And we use it to emulate... Bouncing a ball against the wall. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Yeah, I oh, got a lot of 
Agent Norman J. I got a six here. episodes of Monk to film tonight, so cancel my yeah, lunch appointment. Of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. Oh, I, I wanted get to you. introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps Aaron it's a better time. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I just have to get. Oh, and then it's not no problem. Not like I was now. walking there. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll. Unlike this lady, well, she's yeah. having some problems. You know how to tie a knot in her necktie. Yeah, I'm not six. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press. You need me to tie your tie this, for you? This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. You're like 60 there are years of old. Killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Nailed it. Oh, of course not. All I'm asking <laughs> is that you make progress <laughs> and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have Let's to make it a shadow puppet on a silver platter. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. But I already have a Welcome Twitter account. Club, I want to choose this one. <laughs> Isn't that gonna give him like a seizure if somebody walks in from the the ether? Yeah, who's there? Just rips a hole in reality in front of him. Hey, it's me, Thanos. What on earth? Yeah, he should really work from home considering the level of technology he's got. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. Well, just about time for lunch, then. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Give me those friggin' files. Motion controls. Really good idea. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys. Aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Of the heavy variety. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. This is how Putin here works. Oh, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. Mm, actually, it's an origamo. An origami would be multiple origamos. Six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. The killer is white, aged between 30 of and 45. Course. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. He wears a pair of AR-enabled sunglasses. Calm. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Hey, he said between 30 and 45, I'm 29. I'm officially exonerated. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, okay, that's the environment. We can put ourselves in space. Okay, maybe I'll choose space. Just to be, because I always wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> Fucking to get out of here with that! I'm on Mars, okay? Ma, you know I can only focus on Mars. Oh, frig. I forgot my taurine.
You know, without my Tori, my hand gets again. bigger than my face. I'd rather go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. That's all right. I know. This is me. I know. If I have to like drive no, somewhere before I get coffee in the morning. Hey. Nah, man, how was your fucking St. Patrick's Day? Oh, pretty good. You know, it's just a normal fucking day. <laughs> Distilled from only the highest quality butterball turkeys. Distilled Tripto. Instills a sense of contentedness only your mother's love could provide. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail Mr. can Mars. be important. It must have been about 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly, because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. How could Sean have disappeared without you even How could he have disappeared wearing right brown pants? I mean, you could spot him a mile away. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. That uh, should give us enough to Mars. go on. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do you think the origami killer... Oh, why don't I just phone him up and ask him? Oh, hello, Mr. Origami Listen, Killer. Yeah, I'm just calling just to check in and see if you've seen a, a kid named Sean. But what Get if the, it the is fuck the out of here. Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. And on that note... I'm off till March. Best of luck to you. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. Yeah? I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, she's extremely in the right. I miss him so much. Mm, I want to comfort her, but the judge <laughs> says we're not supposed to have any physical contact. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. What is happening? Okay. Uh, no problem. Just. I think I accidentally initiated a Nam and Jordan line in the middle of that uh, heartfelt moment. <laughs> Another classic American loft. 3,000 square feet on the ground floor in an 18 inch <laughs> Sony Trinitron TV. On the all static station. It's like all the apartments from Friends mashed together. So, you know, maybe like seven or eight grand a month. Oh, but her eyes had the Eldritch. Darkness of an immortal being, so she's probably okay. T 
he's gotten hard, I'm wondering why. Got out of bed at all. Money and rain clouds in my city. And I can't sleep at all. Because the rain's so heavy, it makes these sounds and so good. No luck catching those killers, then. <gasps> it's a cat or a boyfriend. Those are the only two options when you get startled in your apartment. Okay, that was a man's legs. How fast is he? Somebody's been eating my hamburgers. You better not have used one of my three bottles of artisan ketchup. <laughs> it's the weirdest apartment. It's like such a good apartment decorated so poorly. Nobody can hide from you in this apartment. It's so open. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Which one is the front door? I always forget it's a pull. Yo, it's actually mute. Thank you for your sacrifice. Um, he's behind her now, or there's multiple people hiding in our 800 square foot apartment. Thought he was just gonna toss her straight out of the window. London. I still... Oh, there are two. Okay. How did two people hide from her in this apartment with no walls? Bite his ear through the balaclava? That was a complete mind flood. Yes! Oh, I should have gone for the 32 inch. Oh. Actual assassin. all a dream <laughs> she wakes up like 18 dudes pop up from under the couch dun 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 couple dudes pop down from the ceiling two jump in through the window one comes out of the TV screen like the evil girl from the ring When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Jeez, thanks a lot, Comcast. Maybe the killer left his return address on the... 
I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Find out what this ticket is about. Mr. Mars! Mr. Mars! Mr. A few Mars. words! Mr. Mars! Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. Mr. Mars, how many sons do you plan to lose this year? Mr. Mars, I mean, come on, it's kind of ridiculous, right? Mr. Mars! Mr. Mars. Mr. A few Mars. words! Mr. Mars! Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think the origami killer Mr. Mars, kidnapped him? Get another car. Mr. Mars, did your son I'm disappear? going to walk Mars, straight wait, to that car without Mr. stopping Mars, on the way. Are you worried your son might Mr. be Mars, dead? Mr. Mars, do you suspect anyone, Mr. Mars? Do you know if the investigators have any leads? You lost your son in the park. How do you feel about that? Please. Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son you has disappeared? Do you think your son is still alive? Uh, hello, Mr. Mars. You've been nominated for World's Worst Father. Gonna... Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't... Can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I... I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. This is Comic-Con. <laughs> You've got to make it to the Inhumans panel. Excuse me, if you pardon me. If you don't mind, if you'll just excuse me. Sorry about that. Get out of the way. Pardon me. Jason! Oh, I think he might be around here. This is my mistake. I think. Oh, hello, Jason. Oh, no. Get back here, young man. Only in New York. I hope it's the other Ultra Boost V2 I requested from Santa Claus. If I'm going to do something this traumatic, I'm going to need one beer, some liquid courage. Yeah, it's not like there's a gun in there. Just turn it over on the desk. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, there's a metal detector. How did he get the gun in there? Uh... The gun was in a cardboard box. It shielded it from the electromagnetic waves of the x-ray machine. Help. Dad. Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. Oh, so he's got like after effects or something. <laughs> Electrical Inveterates. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Don't forget about One that heavy rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found 
ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's You gave her like kidnapped a kid and then the there are two meteorologist was just wrong. Might fit and he ends up having this kid hanging zone. out for like two I'd weeks. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere. We got to get off our asses and find him. Go for him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? <laughs> well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. And your great, your delightful glasses. You fucking sweet ass, technologically marvelous glasses. From being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. All right, all right, leave the glasses out of it. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? The weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Jesus fucking Christ. Watch out, he might stab you in the back. For the Ray-Bans. No, for the last time, you can't put them on. They're locked to my genetic code. Well, it's a religious man. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I well, have you seen Earth your facial hair? Him. Real twisted. Oh, I get it. So no crucifixes is bad, and a hundred crucifixes is bad. How am I supposed to know? Like, make up your mind here. Where did I go? Was this just the resident door kicker? He's got a fuckload of multivitamins, boss. Never trust a man with supplements. Nobody needs that much zinc. <laughs> Why would the bathroom door be locked? Extremely valid point. Well, it doesn't, it's like a little bit of a fire hazard. Lit candles next to your bed on the floor on top of some <laughs> oily racks. Man, this dude needs to work on his nutritional profile. It's his new tropic stack. <laughs> Let me out, please. I have searched the location. Oh, never mind. I go out to buy vitamins just once and this happens. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Except we having just a soul talk. patch. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord. So for the I'm just going to write down humanity. unemployed then. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4 30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. 
All day. Just ask God. He'll back me up. Is there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Yeah, one set of footsteps. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Martha? What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Martha? No! You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Blake, he told you to go and you find doing? that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? He's leading the witness? Stop! Stop! That's enough! No way! So you obeyed them to make them stop. That's you enough! You took that boy Leave with you him and him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You can't just start kicking the victim, dude. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall Nathaniel. I you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! I... Uh, I shot him. I shot him in the head. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Training day. Press the wrong button there. Kind of thought you press like R1 and then it would you'd cock the gun or something like that and it would escalate and slowly get calmer, but uh no, I just shot him in the head. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Mrs. Bowles? Anybody home? Doesn't seem to be anyone. What about the baby? That's a, it's a someone. Jeez. Parents today. Going out and leaving a poor little kid like that. Hmm. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Well, excuse me, sir or madam. Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? Oh, I got a middle ear infection. I can't stream. Classic. Oh, Jesus. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Kunk. Oh. You got good locks in this place. Mrs. Bowles, you're under arrest. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Get you out of that dirty water and just kind of walk. Let's put you on the bed, maybe. Healing properties. <sighs> Of a 700 thread count Egyptian cotton comforter. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. This is America, are you crazy? Okay. I can't afford that. You got something around here I can drink? Okay! Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right now back. Now just go call the hospital, you madman. There, I done what I can. Oh, I you should be fine. Me. Six or eight years of rest, you'll be right back to normal. My baby. My baby needs me. Oh, you me. gotta have, like, a, an orange juice or something first. You never right. give blood before? You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. With all due respect, I think I got it under control. I'm I. There's nothing I can't do. Um... He's gotta wash his hands first. That's what happened there. Yeah, okay. I thought for a moment the baby turned into blood. <laughs> what 
What if he just snapped its neck? <laughs> oh, this is very strange. It's the hardest task in the game so there you far. Go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? What an incredibly uncomfortable section of this video game. Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Hey, what's the hey? You, oh, what are you? The Queen of England or something? I'm sorry. Look, this is America. In America, if somebody says, don't call an ambulance, you don't call an ambulance, okay? States' rights. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Hmm? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Okay. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, mister. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll do better this time. I promise. Jeez, save some for the dairy farmers, Emily. I heard they wanted to make cheese this year. She drank a liter of milk. <laughs> the baby <laughs> drank more milk in a oh, second than I've job, drank Emily. in my whole life. Mm -hmm. You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, you I'm put your ear up to the baby's good. mouth, you hear the ocean. Nice little snoop. I'm just unfolding the stick slowly. That's too fast. That's far okay, too okay. fast! I'm sorry. I'll rock it down a notch. Oh, you gotta unfold it slowly here. Yeah, yeah, just let his neck sort of dangle around like that. Hey, pretty much fixed your life. Anything else I can get before I go? Well, this is based on this guy's character. This is how it works. All right, we saved her life, so now she has to answer literally one question about the origami killer. You know the deal. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. You still talking? Yeah, more casual like this. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word, and there was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, it's a yeah, wireless telephone. Yeah, I found a cell phone in his dresser. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm. Yeah, out of well, well, he's tapping his arm like, I ain't got all day. After yourself. You're gonna be fine, yeah, right? Like you didn't, you're not gonna do anything crazy. I will. Yeah, no, I think uh, she's back to normal now. I, I put a little tape on her arm, changed her baby's diaper, fed it a gallon of whole breast milk. She was right as rain. Should I call somebody, maybe, about this situation with the... And the... Nah, you did a good thing here today. Get back in your 1939 Model T Ford. You really saved that young lady's life today. Pontiac Sunfire? Yo, I can't use RoboVision. Ethan doesn't have RoboVision. That's Nam and Jaden. They look similar. But you, the way you remember it is, Naman Jun's addicted to drugs. This guy just cannot hold on to a son for the life of him. 
Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. They were absolutely correct when they named the game. Would you plug into the GPS the friggin' middle of nowhere? Latitude and longitude to 12 decimal points? Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? The origami killer Listen programmed his own GPS! Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. Accept! I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice. Plus, as we've established, I am the god of QTEs. Wet nutshell. Here we go. No chat, I gotta focus on the screen. You gotta turn the whole controller, that one's a tricky one. Oh, watch out, visibility's low. Always go right, that's the secret. Saves your brain the knowledge, the requirement of figuring it out. Just counters. What does that mean? What on earth does that actually mean? You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. Dude, I'm like out of breath. Oh. Okay. I wish you wouldn't stand there. Is like part of the problem. So like you guys, it, this is like the world's most comical Benny Hill Road. That one wasn't even a real person. We could have hit him and been fine. He's still going. Dude, the Sunfire was a reliable automobile. You gotta admit, that's some quick thinking from that guy. 90% of drivers on the road, that guy's a ham sandwich right now. Well, now the cops are driving the wrong way, so who's supposed to set an example for the kids? It's like the Joker, you know? We, we ruined society just because of a couple crimes. Well, it's not my fault that load was on secure. Oh, fuck! We did almost murder that police officer. Don't you dare discharge that firearm, sir. Yeah, hit, hit the brakes in the middle of the tailspin. I missed one QTE. Come on. Because I was cracking a joke. I missed one QTE. Everything's upside down. I thought he was going to put it in his own ear. What direction is that? It's like, what button is plus? I don't understand. Shake the controller down and up. It's Topsy Turvy Land. Yeah, smash it. Get out.
It's like you're talking to the insurance agent. You're not going to believe this. I just picked up the car from the shop. Hey, Anel, you accidentally uploaded the same video twice. It's no big deal. It's not like I drove the wrong way for five miles on the highway to see it or anything. It's, uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt Lane. There it goes. Dude, I missed one QTE out of, like, a hundred, and each one had a microsecond to put it in. Is that Cloud's motorcycle from Final Fantasy VII? Whoa, oh my god. There's so much characterization happening in such a short amount of time. Yeah, she's a woman, but she drives a motorcycle. Also, her jacket has a vinyl record and a painting of Japanese kabuki theater on it. You got a problem? Sean Mars disappeared yesterday. Do not go in there. Hello there. <laughs> oh my Art. god. What can I do for you? Smell. <laughs> I'd like a room. <laughs> for you? Anything. Hmm. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Jennifer Fake Name, and I live on 123 Real Street. Yeah, that's the same address I gave the Banana Republic. Madison Page 27. Single. <laughs> How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Is he doing Dan's impression of me? Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. That's true. Why did she have to put in her uh, uh, marital status? Line. That's for sure. It seems a little bit... What is this? The Facebook Hotel? It's Ethan! Is this a crossover episode? Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. Mmm, the classic Number fake head wound to help me to my room in a seedy motel uh. move. Huh, Ethan? So yeah, for those of you who are wondering why nobody in this game wants an ambulance, it's because in some parts of the world, it's better to die than to live because living in this case entails getting like a five digit hospital bill that's the other thing if you call for an ambulance you're a bitch your head is bleeding it looks deep the old classic Florence 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 Nightingale routine you know it's just some women, they see a man with a gaping head wound and colossal psychological issues, and for whatever reason, it just makes them swoon. I'm gonna take a shower. Pop the right. molly, got him sweating. Let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. I mean, now I'm like, she's kind of creeping me out. You don't even know this dude. If I was in a sketchy motel and I saw a dude with a head wound, I guess, oh my, come on, David. No, I'm not gonna look, cause then Talk I have to, me. That way I have to censor to more stuff What's on YouTube. Name? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna spy on his other stuff instead. Madison, are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Mm, Don't ask me why. Yes, of course. We call Whenever it the I Howard Johnsonism. I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing Must be through. nice to be able to spend uh, $95 every time you can't get some sleep. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. No peeking! I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? Mm, pays 430000 American dollars a year. I'm an architect. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Wow, they're actually 
trying to pretend that there's sexual tension between these two. You know, the old classic when Harry met Sally meet cute, guy with a head wound. You never told me your name. Woman with crippling nightmares. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. By the way, I'm in 201 if you ever want to compare war stories. Yo, it's a lot of work to fold one of these. The old power plant on Embarcadero Street. You have that classic San Francisco weather. That's him. It's me? Yeah, that's me right there. Miroslav Korda? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Shit, don't just stare. When he started walking, everybody was just like, eh, we'll just let it maybe he wants to answer the questions hey, over man, there. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. Sick jump. Okay, no failures here. I wanna plat this game. Yo, the Jason maneuver, careful, dude. <laughs> 666 Jason Street. Hey. Oh, that was like straight out of an 80s movie. Where he's like a cool teen fighting back against a scumbag property developer. Oh, it almost didn't see that one. Let's go. Hey, man, watch it. There's too many prompts to hit. Stop that guy! No! Always the final prompt. Hey man, what's your problem? Now I'm gonna turn on Airy. Hit him with a tactical Hellfire missile or something. What? There's just live chickens in here. Are we in America? Yeah, Aerie, let's go. Oh, that's a gun. Bloodlust is setting in. Tell him to freeze. It'll be sick. Please go into the office and help your husband. Dude, it's not my fault. Video games these days, they're so hard. No! Oh! Classic throw. That would never have worked in a way out. I hit the control the motion controls. I pushed the controller down. You think this is until now? Nice little Taekwondo maneuver there. Dude, this is London. In London minigames, you stand no chance. I'm sorry to tell you that, Yaroslav. The only time I fail at a QTE is when the game wants me to fail at a QTE. Like you absorbed the impact of that one pretty much entirely on your forearm. Oh my god. Did you see when he hooked him by the neck? Like this is a fight scene in the Sherlock Holmes movies? This time it looks like we got our origami killer. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Do you own a telephone? Sure. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water. Please. Take a seat, I'll get it. It is not Michael Jackson. That's the bedroom as well. I mean, you can get her a glass from the bathroom, but like, it's the same water, but it's more the principle of the thing. If I went to somebody's house and they got me a glass of water out of the bathroom tap, it might be a little bit irrational, but I would be slightly perturbed. The kitchen is where the drinkable water comes from. The bathroom is where the toilet water comes from. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? It was a series of, of clues leading to the location to of my son. I don't know what was inside him, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? 
You remember anything else about the letter? Come in an envelope. Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. <laughs> oh, I've, I've had it on me until this very day. Pennsylvania. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you know. You know. ever think about opening it and then perhaps reading what's inside well, of it? Help, Lord. I Play know it's, it's a today, felony, but, but I, this is kind of a I can't just it's sit a big case. And do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking and I I want to come with you. Help you in your <laughs> It's just like the typewriter on his desk. Oh no. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. No. It's I haven't open. opened it yet. I failed the prompt. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Fridge. This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a, stupid it was a Sorry not a stupid idea at all. Yourself. Give me the envelope. Wait. I need to open it. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. And life is a mother a who nightmare. wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? I mean, like, not from a tax sense, because then I gotta give you a, you know, a W-8, but We're sure. Partners. What are we doing I'm here? I'm so prepared for John Wick Kramer. style Kramer. silent takedowns. The big Wick tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Absolutely certified banger. You can tell he's rich because he drives a 1994 Ford Escort. But a bunch of degenerates? Dude, I know. Smoking inside? Come on. Hey, don't look at her chest, you creep! Yo, it's a little Shelby. I'm a little embarrassed, honestly. So, did you find Gordy? I mean, I haven't even been out of eyesight here. got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? Yes. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? What is, what are you doing with Wait, your mouth? Lord. That's not gonna work. Oh! <laughs> I don't <laughs> If this works... I just don't even know what to say. Yo, dude, come on! Okay, fair enough. The dancing didn't work. She had to feign something else. I'll allow it. A little ridiculous. I know we're at a party where everybody's like... Miss. Miss, dressed like a right? supermodel, but something about your trench coat and jeans look is just... Shit. Enchanting. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Is he watching, like, Teleton? <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case He's of playing the Fortnite. killer. I'd like to ask you a few yeah, questions. Yeah, with Ninja. <laughs> Dude, that is a French cartoon. I don't even need to know what's happening to know that that cartoon is French as hell. 
I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? Factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw Martin him. Martin Shkreli? Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? What's the voice? That's the voice you use when you're like, I did it, but you can't pin it on me. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I'm the origami killer! I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. Open and shut case. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Well, you're like under arrest. Get rid of this clown! <laughs> Bring me more pictures of Spider-Man! <laughs> Were you guys defending him? He's the origami killer! You heard him yourself! Oh, I didn't see that one coming. I really just level with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> what is his pose? Dude is freaking me out. <laughs> what? This is like a trampoline couch? <clears throat> Yo, that's a Rembrandt. Dude, I don't care if he is the origami killer. Some things are bigger than this. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Who is he, Thanos? You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. You Shelley. just admitted to being Tell a me. serial killer. And I'm like, kind of a cop. Where are you going? Arrest him, Shelby. Well, he could at least call the cops and be like, hey, I was at this dude's house and uh, he confessed to being the origami killer and then he had sick two tough guys on me and I beat him up. What's your eye got? Nothing I can do. Found the killer. I didn't really have a plan for after that. You are correct. He did say he's the origami killer. You think that was his way of getting off? I said Joe Montaigne. Does he walk like a perturbed high school girl? Ah, let me guess. A bunch of sharp stuff on the ground. Classic little jigsaw maneuver. This is why I always crank the gamma. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. Slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. Crawl slow. Don't let them trick you into going fast. Slow is fast. You can just imagine one of the origami killers henchmen down here smashing light bulbs for like two hours to make sure all the dead ends are covered. No, it's Suspiria! Ethan, it's Suspiria! Well, it's too bad for him he wasn't wearing a jacket on his knees. 
guess I don't really have any choice. Just do not slide down it. Just, like, scurry down it real slowly. Why on earth... If he slides, I'm going to be very perturbed. Um, you, you, as you can see, I am pressing the buttons. As you can tell, all of these buttons are being pressed right now. Alright. He's really going for the slide, huh? I mean, I see no discernible reason why he wouldn't just slow himself down by moving his feet a little further apart. And thus not tumble into, like, a room full of poison or glass or... You know, some kind of awful trap, but more power to you. Oh, no. Well, of all the QTEs to fail, the one where you get up off the ground seems like could be worse, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. I slipped a little bit there. Okay, okay. Wait, try it again. Oh, he's like extremely unpleased. You can tell by his vision going into red. I can't hit it. Literally cannot hit it. Alright, we gotta approach this from like a different perspective. Ethan, get up. The buttons are not hittable. I'm just letting you know, like with a human hand, these buttons are not hittable. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. It's like, frig, dude, I just can't be done. There's a reason for that. You gotta go through the other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, my arm's so sore. It's like somebody shocked it with 100,000 volts. Okay, be cool, be cool. You got this, dude. Ho! <laughs> yeah, don't fall backwards. Still drowning, huh? Dude, that says Roosevelt. Roosevelt something. Roosevelt Road, Roosevelt Lane. Told you. I'm a Wheel of Fortune god. No, the phone was almost dead, but because I touched the capacitor there, it discharged into the battery, and now it's got 800% charge. I can't stop thinking about that drug addict with the head wound from earlier. <laughs> Heavy brain! So good. Well, here I go dying again. Oh my god. He's got electricity poisoning. Quick. Get the semiconductors. <laughs> On the bright side, dude finally has a good excuse to replace those pants. Oh, you got some those burn marks on your barbecue chest? sauce on your shirt. Without me? You've got a hell of a fever. Yep, that's Buffalo Wild Wings. The two telltale signs. Yeah, just grab a whole potpourri. One of these is bound to counteract the heavy internal seared cardiovascular network inside of his I'm chest. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. No. Oh. Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. <laughs> so, so stupid. That's all I can do. How do you feel? What? Ethan? It's like you turned his chest into He's bandages. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. You're not supposed to bandage burn wounds? God damn it. This is why we have doctors, dude! Isn't there like a- you know how... If you can't afford a lawyer, they appoint like a public defender? 
Is there nothing like that? Like, if you can't afford a doctor, you get a public doctor who's just like, you know, not quite as good as Johnny Cochran, but they got the basic training necessary to at least help you survive for free. No? What is wrong with this place? Nah, you get this lady instead. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? I'm sorry. I well, no, you should be asking, be asking questions, questions, but I didn't want to necessarily come up with my own theories. You only give I mean, me two after options. After all, we there. hardly know each other. You have no yeah, dude bought me. the whole pharmacy out when he moved in, but couldn't get Listen, a second sweater. I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake. I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. So if you could just be here around like 5.30 tomorrow, I'm planning on coming back with a deep gash in my right. femoral artery. If you could just get ready to repair that, that'd be nice. I'm gonna go. Oh! Naman John's 15 FPS precinct. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. This guy doesn't really sound like I a Yaroslav. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother's here. She'd like to speak with you. I think this guy's the origami killer. Sean Moss's it mother was a few is here. Back. The middle of the night. Uh, we're walking in my sleep. It was pouring down. Through the valley. He came home completely Sean. drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Great song by the Beta Band. He didn't make any sense. There was something. Hey, can you hold on? Something in it. I'm on second life. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but God, the next you day, are just there was that so boring. About another victim. Like, are you hearing yourself right? You are just wasting my time. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According Norman to Jaden? Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Very true. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. What's up I with this chair, man? Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. What are you, the phone? The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy. Yo, you're gonna, gonna make me lose my practice, dude! You're really gonna lose my dude, temper. You out of your mind? Back off, Jaden. This guy knows Let something, and I'm not leaving here until he tells me you what it is. You have no right! Stop him! Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. This guy's no stranger to torture. Have you seen his you have haircut? No right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. You turn him into freaking John Waters, dude. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're going to stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his No, <laughs> just feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. I just He's saved you, dude. By visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. 
Look, lots of people like origami. Exactly, now that cop is gonna live the rest of his career and be like, it's, I can just go around punching doctors in the face. That being said, I think when the psychologist saw the origami, he probably should have called Ash, the police. I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Barnes. That seems like it's, you know, place, day and night. it Notify pierces the veil of, uh, start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on Dr. the train Client stations, privilege. the airports, the bus terminals. Dr. Patient confidentiality, that's on the one. His ass. So that if he moves, we know about it. Yes. Ethan Mars is the origami killer. This is origami, origami, origami. Dude, look at that. Zero with generation iPad. Is that daily motion? This is what smartphones look like in 2007. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Siri! You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. I'm not really looking for like a way out of this situation. I'm relatively okay with Ethan chopping off like the end of his pinky finger. In the whole scheme of things, doesn't really seem that bad compared to being like super electrocuted. But maybe there's a way out. Oh, let's you know. Plus, of course, we have a medically trained physician back at the hotel, so use the butcher knife. Wait, 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 put it down. Put it down on the ground. You're gonna grab the whiskey. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna drink that up. You have three minutes left. Never mind the fact that it definitely will not hit your blood by the time you start cutting. But either way, grab that. All right, and you're gonna you're gonna come over here. You're gonna grab the butcher's knife, like freaking Jason. Ah, that's no, that's the one I wanted. That's my mistake. You're gonna grab this right here, and then you're gonna. Slowly, take a deep breath. And you <laughs> take a deep breath, and you're gonna. <laughs> what is your problem, dude? Really feel like you should just do one big chop. Like I don't know what this slow roll is all about, dude. I'm being real with you. This is stressful for him, but it's not that bad compared to the electricity. I think. gonna be honest it seems like a fairly appropriate reaction why didn't you just do the trick where he makes it look like he, th he separated his uh, thumb first you gotta cauterize the wound yeah that's what everybody's here for is that's Yeah, you really should keep the finger. Maybe she'll be able to stitch it back on when you get back to room 207. Wee! I cut off my finger. You had a shot of whiskey. Get over it. Oh, 
Oh, dude! You activated his super strength. Cut my fung ear. Let me guess, it's my son almost being drowned. Tell me something I don't know. I told you. What is it, like a 800 digit street address? 857-6309, Roosevelt Lane? Yo, you didn't take the disinfectant though. I was gonna tell you, if we still gotta figure out like that whole puzzle, because Ethan's not linguistically intelligent, um, that kid is done. Or is this a nom and Jaden scene? That's affirmative, Lieutenant. Yeah. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? You know this guy's a bad we'll dude because of his Bluetooth outside. headset. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. Yeah, they do have proof. Remember? His ex-wife came to uh, the precinct and said, Hey, one day you came home at 3 a.m. Couldn't have just been out with his boys Going having inside. a couple of cold ones. Maybe she lives there. Lost just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. I'm not sure this is a great plan. This is like... Shit. Possibly still it's within police eyesight, but that's okay. You know, Chad, you raise a valid question. It does seem strange to me that... This stranger who is not in trouble with the law has decided to get herself involved as an accessory to whatever Ethan Mars is doing, despite him being a shady individual by her perspective. However, she's fallen in love with him for reasons that, you know... Ready? on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your position. Only it's We don't go. choose who we love, okay? And she fell in love with this, this broken man. <sighs> Invested in like the world's worst situation anyone has ever found themselves in. Come on, Maybe she's got doctor way. issues, you never know. You know if you like <laughs> couple up with this guy, you're gonna have to help him put on his clothes every morning. He's gotten used to it now. Well, the world's worst police officers. Nope. Hey you, don't move! I'll shoot! Come on! Quick! I can't. Hands in the air! What are you gonna do? Shoot me through a fence? Shit. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Yeah, Follow yeah, them. there you go. The subway. Dude, this is no time. I know you've got low blood sugar right now, but we're on the run. Aladdin strats. I'm like bleeding out and there's still a homeless person that's like, could you spare Ethan, some change for me? This, this dude Gotta has lost going. eight pints of blood. Ethan! Ethan, they're coming! Market East, it's outside of their jurisdiction. All we gotta do is make it to the turnstile. Price day at the Great Co Factory, huh? They all got X's. You gotta go through the one with the green arrow. I live in a major metropolis. Extremely familiar with this. Two people on one turnstile is the real crime here. We orange coats stick together. We're not like those gray coats. can't shake a stick without seeing about a hundred percent of the population carrying a suitcase like that. It's just the way things work in a major city. Dude, I'm telling you, it was half price day of the suitcase 
factory. The tracks. We've got to cross the tracks. Okay. Don't move. Well, we failed that one pretty much immediately. Really done it this time. Look, I couldn't handle the supreme police work from them coming down two separate staircases at the same time. Hands up, trophy earned. Maybe that isn't a failure. Maybe it's just a thinly veiled success. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. He's definitely done now. Help me, Ethan. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't believe you're guilty. I know that sounds strange, but I have my reasons. But you are gonna have to help me to prove your innocence because the odds are stacked against you. Look at these, Ethan. And yet at the same time, I find myself Look being like, maybe these. Ethan should talk to a lawyer. Eight maybe I shouldn't rats. answer any questions. Eight lives taken. Drown in the goddamn rain. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. No. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. He's just feeding him a line so the that the cops help him find Sean. Is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who Only can save I him. can stop me from killing my son. Hey, intervene. Blake, what are you doing? This guy's a killer. He's got no fucking rights. He's gonna tell me everything. All right, well, carry on then. Don't let me try to stop you. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? It's the battle of who the can law. shake their head the more. He is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights. Do you hear me? No rights at all. Ah, again with the no rights trump card. What am I supposed to do? You fuck. If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. Oh, oh, he's gone as well. He's an invisible man now, so... Alright, I guess I'll be leaving because, uh... You've turned Ethan into a ghost. I wanna turn- I wanna turn the camera back on. It's not- my perspective is all jacked up. It's on the back side of this detention cell. Nope, don't believe so. The green door. Excuse me, sir. There we go. There. There we go. This guy's just dead as hell. I'm actually losing it. What are you doing, Mr. Glove? The other green door. They're all green doors as far as the eye can see. Here, give me Blake. Fuck! Oh, that Jesus. asshole has gone too far this time. I'm going back in there. Let me. It's not that green door. Sir, please, can you tell me where the green door is? I'm looking for half price appies. It's right there. Dude, I'm losing my mind. 
Maybe I'll just leave the precinct. Turn 180 degrees. The problem is I've already moved since then. So I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to say, Jennifer, where's the green door? From this location. You talking about this bad boy right here? Yeah, that's the one. Interrogation room. Why didn't you say so? That is not the way it's gonna go. go I'm gonna turn tell the this, whole story to Captain Perry. Just turn this thing on, please. You just go ahead and... Just go ahead and turn this thing on. There's also no... Like, Ethan's not in there? You okay? Did he escape? It was like too late. What do you mean too late? He escaped? He died? Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? I'm gonna put the system on trial. Can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. I don't know if that's how you use time off with a hyphen in the middle. Is that the picture of the angry video game nerd? Don't take Tripto. You're gonna be- okay, here's pivotal moment. Hold it together. I tell, that's a picture of James Rolf, dude. He's wanted. Avery, show me the tabs for Through the Fire and the Flames. Airy, note chart for theme song to Little Witch Academia. Airy, play Utada Hikaru's greatest hits. Mm, your drugs, Mr. Jordan, sir. Your vodka, sir. Well, technically true, I guess. Just gonna have a couple drinks first. Oh, one last thing, sir. Sean can wait. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. No, I just press circle. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Ethanol. Classic. Hey, we have that guy fucking murdered, please. He knows too much. It's a god awful small affair. Oh, the guy with the cap of hair. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. Is this Wikileaks? I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Or just a guy who respects a well-made American automobile? Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Oh, no geoanalysis necessary. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost contact. Turned into some kind of ethereal we'll we'll spectral body. He must be tougher than I thought. Gotta get a lock of his hair, bring him back to tougher this mortal coil. 
Turn him into corporeal flesh incarnate again. Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I got to get him All out right, of here. It's a prison break then. Let's do it. Just be cool, Naman. Don't freaking fuck it up. Be a friggin' disaster. A snafu with the highest thought. It's the bathrooms, Naman. Classic mistake. Got you looking a little unnatural. We gotta go around this. No, nah, it's the wrong way, Nam. And it's like you never seen prison. We go in the interrogation room. Okay, no, I think I've finally got it, Nam. And this is not where you want to be, though. But like, oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Just check. Hey, officer, please leave. I gotta speak to this ghost. There he is, right there. Oh, he's under the. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, he's back. This is a sneaky little door that's flush with the, the wall back there. It's not a gas leak. It's the water pipe in my office. Leave us. Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant... Blake what, are you part of the Bluetooth please. boys? Get out of here! Leave us alone. Right, uh... I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ! Are you alright, Ethan? I don't Ethan? think Ethan's been alright since he was a baby, to be honest with you. Uh, 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 FBI, get off of the ground! <coughs> Has Ethan ever gotten himself up in this game? What? There's a dude back in the room. Please leave, Gary, officer. You can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that extremely relevant piece of information, Gary. That's it. You're free. Turns out one of them was a cop and he didn't tell you. You're off on a technicality. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just I know walk. what you're thinking. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope I won't regret that. <laughs> he looks like a natural, dude. Oh, yeah, that... Hey, who's that guy wearing the police parka with his hood up? Just a standard-issue police uniform. As he shambles out of the... Out of the police precinct. Hey, honey. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. I highly doubt there's some of everything in that single paper bag. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Is it... Am I supposed to be doing something? I... No. I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... Someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think you might be the killer. I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? Why are you still go Run! And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. That is <laughs> literally no what he just told the police. I'm his only chance. Please, Madison, leave. 
Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Well, did you get Camembert from the grocery store? Well, you could... If you want to help me. I wrote it on the list. Leave. God, he's so criminally insane and yet so entrancing. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Send him a picture? Wait, send a picture? Get your reward. <laughs> oh, it's the gun. Thank God. If he hadn't included a firearm, I don't know where I would have managed to get one. Would have thrown this whole plan into a tizzy. Ah, yes. Manfred's Antiques since 2008. A local institution. Oh, there's typewriters. You remember the envelope. Looks like his time is running out. I got a check that needs cashing. Other various puns related to the scene. Manfred. Oh, hello, Manfred. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Have you seen the top Scott. of my glasses? Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, you know this guy's yeah, not all there because he's got a fucking typewriter well, store in the 2000s. In well, to old friends. I guess the third one's just the second one for Manfred. Yo! Drink it. You can't drink that. It's a ballerina. I like it. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a stradelli. That means nothing. Crafted to me. in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Oh, well, slow down there, you know. Save some for Scotland. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I'm looking for a gift. I thought for my maybe aunt. you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. Yeah, don't my trouble yourself, Manfred. Uh, I'd like to get out of here before retirement. The Royal Five. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's yep, is that's typical the, of that That's model. the English language there. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. All right, I'll just need a list of uh, every single one of those ever sold between the years of 1800 and right now. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Mm, sold about a hundred million I'd of them over its lifetime. Many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> you have a ten Any million uh, record sequel database of all the of people who've ever purchased the I Royal keep Five. My account books in the office. Let me get those. If you're not Let in me a get hurry, those. I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or Let or me get that repaired. one for you. Yeah, that would really help us out. Don't trouble yourself. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Now you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Manfred's the killer! Let's take a look. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. What? I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Is the phone a gun? Must have died of old age. Oh my god. He's dead. <laughs> Thank you for the help there, Manfred. He died smiling, doing what he loved. Very slowly fulfilling a task. You took every softener that you got 
Yeah. yeah. It's like solid. It doesn't pour. Yo. Downy, what the heck? It's not Downy, it's no name. I bought the no name fabric softener and it's solid. It doesn't pour. It's got congealed. <gasps> oh my god. No wonder millennials stop buying it. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. Don't. The killer has already well, called the police. Congealed. I think he wants us know. to be a scapegoat. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Yo, well, Manfred's so dead, though. We gotta investigate. Watch the. Kate, someone in chat said it will ruin your clothes. Throw it out. There you go. I've saved the clothes. Front door. She's I'll already used it. All right. Well, at least we since we we'll be in. pleasantly surprised. Better work fast. The police are going to They're not ruined. Lauren. What are you doing, Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Yeah, no, we've met him we two seconds ago. Here fast. Oh, we got a dust for Brits. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Shake him off. Shake him off. You got to get your prince off. And she touched, don't forget, they made a very big point that she touched this thing about a hundred times. Just got to wipe this bad boy off. Yeah, there you go. Okay, what else did we touch? We touched the phone, we touched the magnifying glass. We touched the scotch, no question about it. Give this a quick little shake. With your fingers, but that, sure, yeah, you know, I'll just accept that. I mean, I don't think we touched this until just now, but that's okay. That's it, we're done. You get all the prints? Yes. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from fighting us. His eyelids? On, <laughs> I'll just tell them we had a tryst. Only I can outsmart myself and save my son from me. Knock knock you, it's me. I'm here to save your son. What do you want? Go away, I'm recording YouTube videos. Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm not really coming from a sure position of power wearing a bathrobe huh? and sandals indoors. I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a Oh brace. my god! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Oh, oh man, will you stop fucking moving? Hey, you really messed this one up, Ethan. You gotta get him, you gotta get him. Watch out, there's gonna be a kid. I didn't wanna shoot him. I felt like maybe a child was gonna pop out and I was gonna blow him away. Yeah. Knock over his stack of Archie comics. I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh! Bad pops. How many kids live in this place? Oh, we made him lose all his ammo. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? I do not want any dope. Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got As children. you can see, I've got eight children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. That's the photo that came with the I wanna picture see frame. Again. You think you can put one please, over on me? Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. <laughs> Why'd you? I'm no killer. I'm no killer. 
Yeah, yeah. Just put like some ketchup behind his head and then take a picture. I'm not a killer, not yet a woman. All I need is Sean, a QTE that's gone. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical what register. Radio station, are you listening to? Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Facebook Matt, FM? I already careful. made that joke. Okay. I'm on it. Kilometric. Talk to you later. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Is it Colin Mockery? Without a prescription? Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Uh, hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. This might be... Darth Sidious? So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Is this L.A. Noir? Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Where did you go to anyway, medical school? we should drink a toast to our first deal. No? I said no. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? What a weirdo. Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. Speaking of which... I'm looking. Speaking of the exchange of currency for Sorry, uh, goods... Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Do you have any apartments? I'm not drinking this glass. Just so you know. You're not drinking? Double negative? Um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. Wait here. Is this just like rule number one for real life? Like, gives me the creeps. Guy, you I better take a look around meeting to see a if I can find sketchy dude to buy back. some prescription drugs? Don't drink whatever he gives you. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> well? <laughs> that could have gone better. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Uh, so, yeah. you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. Who's shaking? I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. And shake side to side. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery. Get out of here, Ruka! So I take every it's a mature scene! I practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh, don't. This might sting a little. It's like Dragon Slayer Doppelganger. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling? I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Okay, give it a little shake. You can get the drill now. It's got a tacty stock on it. Not much of a Boy Scout. 
Okay, you gotta be quiet. This is an important moment because I don't know what the hell David Cage has planned for me if I mess this up, so. Hello, sir. I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love it. Seems like a dude who already has the Bible memorized, to be honest with you. Yo, her agility stat is 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, is that a cordless? What kind of battery pack you got in that thing? Must be a default. Let's go, he's done. She's Thor. Still better than PUBG's melee mechanics. Oh, that's BS. I nailed it. I continue to be nailing it. You need like a full room setup to play this game. I hit like six buttons there before I hit the right one. So undialed. I just hit my hand on the th David Cage, you asshole! These motion controls! I thought that was an X, but it's just a valve on the table. <laughs> this is making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Deep State claims another victim. There's got to be a good Colin Mockery pun in there, like, you know. Whose drill is it anyway is like a D tier. There's got to be a better one. I'm trying to figure it out. Drill carry. I'm working on it. Queen of Ropes? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, that's for what you did in the housing market. He's lucky he died before the speculation tax came into effect. Hey, cracker! Pardon me! Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for names. I just don't even want to Perhaps talk. I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Blood. Yeah, dude. Now where's why your is car? There blood here. Oh. Blood tracks. Hey, it's Stephen Avery's garage. Hi, all. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Uh, acid bath? No, I haven't listened to the new uh, Fugazi album. Harry, comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Yeah, there's no other conceivable way some pollen could have gotten this garage. Except that the origami killer was here. A few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Hmm, I wonder where. Could be anywhere. Um, hard to tell, honestly. Is this blood? Is this blood? Is this blood? Is this blood that I'm feeling? Hey, Whoa! You got me, officer. I'll come clean. 
Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Get ready. Harry! I've been training for years. My glasses, dude! The other cops aren't gonna respect me if I come back without my glasses. Shame about your busted kneecap, but... Shoot him, shoot him. R1. R1 is shoot. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Smack him. Yeah. Broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill. This is where I lose it. my naivety. It's Brad Pitt in seven. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. A buck fifty-five a gallon right, right now. I'll say it was an accident, cause you won't really be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You a crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man? No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named. Paco down at the blue oh, it's all coming together. Was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Shit, not now. Just shoot him before you pass out, at least. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. I'm gonna hold this together. Guaranteed. Still got it. No! <laughs> what? They letting you dope heads in the FBI now? <laughs> now I'm gonna give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Five-O. Permanently. I'm disappointed in myself. I I had like my Claw set up and everything. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm really. The motion controls. You really letting me down here? Okay. I'm gonna turn this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, uh, Naman. I think you might be about to die. Perhaps. Yeah, of course. This is how you solve the puzzle. You're some kind of idiot. Looks like them Duke boys are at it again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, he's free! Nomin! <laughs> he's done it. Final boss. I don't believe it. I, I'm telling you, I hit that Hadouken. Come on. What you got? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like a Star Trek fight scene. 
It's actually Star Trek fight scene music. <laughs> I'm mashing this button. If this doesn't get it, I... All that for that? What happens when you fail the event? Forearms are getting sore. <laughs> Namin, do anything. <laughs> Every Successful QTE results in me getting hit in the face or thrown around. Oh no! <laughs> That's why they tell you not to wear loose clothes! Should have read the handbook. It's actually the scene from Austin Powers. Osha claims another victim. What's your favorite Mad Jack line? I like. <laughs> I don't say the other one. There you go, just two eggs hanging loose there with a box of hamburgers in the fridge. I have never in my life seen eggs outside of the carton in a North American fridge. Look at that. Textbook. One more of those. Yeah, just leave them on the counter. Who cares, dude? Yeah, this is Gordon Ramsay teaches you. You put the eggs in a cold pan, just sitting there listlessly. Whisk them up. Giving yourself carpal tunnel syndrome and repetitive... Oh, those look actually horrendous. There you go. Now that you got the... Now that they're scrambled, start giving them a little of the whisk variety. That, the consistency, oh my god, what have I done? The consistency on those is not right, Scott Shelby. What on earth is this? Yeah, no, nope, it's done. <laughs> Gotta make dinner for Sean. There they go. Uh, scrambled eggs. Right there. <laughs> Mmm, a single disc of scrambled eggs. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Uh, we're looks better on you. Probably not the same size. I wear a small. Eat it. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great I chef. Didn't, I didn't cook them long enough. It's okay. That's the problem. When you don't cook eggs long enough, that's what happens. They turn out like that. What's Just that? a single disc a I took from of resin. Clarified I amber from About Jurassic Park's laboratories. Parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, yeah, right? Yeah, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, Lauren, wait. It's private eye. Never even thought about cross-checking the list. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine... And if he subscribed to an lists. Origami well, Magazine... Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. The only guy whose name was I on found the guy who killed my son. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? 
Shelby, you know it's your business, right? The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out like, of here. Why is she driving the bus here? I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. Oh, yeah. Here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. What do you mean you should be investigating the guy who admitted to being the killer? She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. <laughs> Irish plot. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy. Mm, are you the lord of the cemetery? Ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Uh, it's nice that all the under-18 graves are in one section so that we can concentrate the maximum amount of human grief as possible in one geographic area. These flowers are fresh. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure if you noticed the origami like dog either, maybe? The grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. She's Thanos again. She's got to stop dyeing her hair before we go out in this heavy rain. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> God, beat it, you lousy no good brat. Frank, come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. <sighs> He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Some say it hasn't well, stopped raining we'll since that fateful day in '77. Come on, let's go play. So how does the Gravedigger know about this scene? Which one of these children is he? What? What are you asking me? Move your ass! I'm waiting! I, I don't understand. <laughs> is this like a kids are dumb or the game doesn't understand? I Oh my lord. This is actually the hardest QTEs in this whole freaking game. Hey, let's go into the abandoned gristle mill. Let's go to the old lard factory. Oh, okay, now this is now just extremely dangerous. Climbing a, a slick beam at a construction site. In the middle of a fucking downpour. You know, I don't want to blame the victim if something goes wrong here, but this seems like probably the worst idea I've ever seen. Meanwhile, as a kid, I'm the guy who wants to sit at the front of the school bus so he gets a seatbelt. Oh, he activated. Oh yeah, get in the garbage slide! It goes straight to the incinerator. These guys really were hoodlums. Like, I, it was hard for me to side with the dude in the uh, RV. I think he's got a very valid point here. Oh, let's no, climb up the rickety scaffolding. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Tommy Wiseau? Just remember, these kids right here raised our generation. When they complain about us being coddled, look at their childhood. Oh, even better. John, wait for Rotted me. out piece of naughty Get pine. Let's do it. <sighs> Historically, this has not been my strong suit. Yo. QTE God. You're there, just jump. You're good. You're nothing but a slow poke. Come on, it's your turn. This is like horse for dying. Let 
Like, you can check out any time, but you can never leave. time for the jump of death. The generation before them was working at the construction site. Hmm. Extremely true. Oh my god. Five QTEs? What's Grandpa's gravel pit? What do you want to do tomorrow? Roll around in the glass recycling bin? Let's play hide and seek. You, you hide here inside train. of the engine block of this heavy okay. machinery. One, two, three. I'm gonna go hide in an four, unlit furnace. Five, six, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. Cheater. <laughs> He's saying help. He's on my left ear. Steppers? Steppers left ear? Those cries. That's John's voice. John, you okay, buddy? John! My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on! There. Maybe I shouldn't have hid in the raging sewers. I'm pulling. I'm pulling, dude. This game is like you need to buy a new PS4 controller just to handle the QTEs. What are we gonna do? Take your shoe off. Hang on, John. I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. It's a high flow day. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived. What happened to him? Oh, he became the origami killer. All I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. <laughs> I guess I better be getting home. Sometimes dead is better. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again. I'm waiting for you, Scott. I went the wrong way. <laughs> there Lauren goes again, knowing the optimal route to get back to our vehicle. I fixed my headphones. Wait, they were on backwards. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's Yo. grave. Yo, you get the resemblance is uncanny. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Yo, excuse me. And you got your nicest sweater on, but let me in, please. Watch I'm like step. accidentally dancing, just trying to work my way through. And nothing here. against techno trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. This is me in the club, 100%. I'm looking for Paco Mendez. Do you know where he is? He's at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. Why did he go out in public then? Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. Gonna have to think of something else. Okay. Let's walk around. Maybe we can go upstairs. I see some stairs over there. Unless... Perhaps I could just walk right over to him. Perhaps 
I could just sneak right by this invisible wall. What the- she got in! Paco seems to like his girl sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Yeah. Okay. Well, you fit the dumb part. Maybe lose a button or two? Time to play the sexy girl. Okay, I'm over I got my mouse on the overlay just in case. Step one, shake your hair out. There you go. All right. Sexy hair. Problem solved. Change nothing. Okay, step two. Oh, you gotta rip your skirt. Obviously. Take that clean off. Now she just looks like she's in a bad Halloween costume or something. No, you're not. She's not ready. She's not ready to leave yet. She's only done two of three things. There you go. Now you got it under control. Oh, here we go. You're so sexy, Lisa. <laughs> My comedy brain is off. Shake it! Shake it! Shake it for Paul Giamatti! I need to watch this again just to look at that guy's face. Hey, get this chewed up piece of steak out of here! Get me the girl wearing the garbage bag! Hey, you! It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little oh, he's invitation. Spanish. You knew around here, honey? <laughs> I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. I like the way you move, Madison. <laughs> Oh, hot under the collar. Which one, though? Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> Is this like Rob's Colombian voice? Yo, he's really fast for a big guy. Oh, take the gun out. I go in, I make him talk to the gun. And I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything is going to be alright. You might want to put this, put the overlay up if you mess this up. Uh-oh. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> of course he has a katana. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. The music, dude, is <laughs> killing me. Do your thing, girl. Uh, let's start low. They're definitely not going to show you a full-on labia. So I know this is the most likely way to stay SFW. She's got to be wearing a bra. 100%. She's a sensible lady. There you go. I could call for help. Oh, that's stupid. My mistake. With this music, who's going to hear me? <laughs> who's going to want to hear you? That is not American duct tape. I'm just going to... I know I'm okay. harping on it. Act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Can we torture him? So far, so good. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know balls when I cash up with you. You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Is everything alright?
If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Just absolutely oh, speedball oh, those. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Ah. Shepard. His name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Looks like my old Java professor. I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. No! I'm here to see Paco. He's in his office. This might be the Take greasiest the man I've ever seen in my life. Scarby, I don't oh, hear you it's a... The it's main crazy. antagonist of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. About the apartment room. I know, you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I take my debt to you, bang. Don't fuck around, man. No. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me. Be careful, there's a katana and the guy with a fedora in there. Mm. Strawberry jelly on his face. Must have died of a diabetic coma. Hey, Ari. Ari. Okay, focus, focus. You lost your glasses, you don't need them. Just remember what mom said, you don't need them. The glasses are an extension of you. Get out of here, Roger Rabbit. I watched you dissolve that dude. He's like, yeah, the sword sucks, dude. Give me the chair. Not the fish. The fish was innocent. Hey, did you see a dude with a fedora? With a bloody face running through here? Every comment, add another loss to my record, please. 0 and 4. Ethan, are you alright? Well, I got bit by a venomous I cobra on my right hand. It's swollen up to the size of the Incredible to Hulks. Kill him to save Sean. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. But is it everybody who admits to being the origami killer? They're like, now that he's admitted, that changes nothing. We know it can't possibly be him. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Sure, why not? Let's let's lean into the ridiculousness. Now that's how you do it, right there. That is how it's done. Maybe go back for one more. <laughs> Just kind of flap those gums together. Um, what are you doing? Is this an overlay situation? It certainly appears to be an overlay. But can I? I'd like to stop, please. I didn't. You ever hear the expression, a, a kiss is not a contract? I'd like to stop this, please. I 
just break her neck wide open. David, please stop. No, David! This is like harder to watch than just the straight up scene of intercourse. This is like just uncomfortable. David, imply! Just imply! There's still, like, there's no nudity yet, but, like, there is just no need for this. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the, I'm glad I put the overlay on. Just, you know, please tell me this is the, they've had their, okay, good. Yeah, now we're back. Guess saving my son can wait. What is this, this is, like, get back in bed? Oh, no, it's just look at her back. Okay. Yeah. And then get up. Yeah, you're looking at what you're leaving behind to save your son. Absolutely true. We just made a new Sean. Yo, she's got incredible vascularity. Yo, I did not choose for the makeout scene. I chose to go in for a kiss. In most games, they have a kiss, and then they go, like, they break it, and then they acknowledge that there's romantic tension, and then they go... I have to do what has to be done. Instead, here, it's like, oh, you consented to a kiss? We're all in, baby. Doing it on the floor. My fly's undone. Would you like to dry clean my sweater? Oh, oh, oh. She's the origami killer. And she's got a T-Mobile sidekick. Not cool, NL? True. Very not cool. All this time and I had no idea. Jim Puff's not in chat, but I'll say happy Easter, Jim Ethan, Puff. what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. What? Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell I you. I work for a blog. What article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it. Ethan, it's not what you think. I. You lied to me, Madison. Oh, you, you lied to lied me, Madison. To me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. It started as an I exploitative piece for my blog, but... Son. Now I've fallen and, kind of, sort of, in like with you. And I understood you. how much you love him. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Forgive, obviously. Okay, well, uh, oh no, what have I done? Not again. I'm sorry, Ethan. You're leaving. Aren't you? The whole find my son part, remember that? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, All Ethan. All my Sean's are dead. I'm ready to leave. You. You are Madison, and I am Ethan. I had to wake you up to make you cry. I'll have some hot ovs, if you don't mind. Oh, hey, it's, this, it's the SWAT team. Cops, they're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Did I get it right? It appears so. <laughs> Ugly 
Apparently, they've got the short range guns only. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's on the balcony. London. London. This guy's practicing his high school speech. Sorry about that. That was my bad. I, I hit the wrong prompt. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Go this way. Keep going. Keep going. You, you're gonna be fine. He is not. Oh. Fargo season two. Don't Kick him. Oh, look at this hopscotch. That's the rooftop grill. Not on my watch, buddy. This is a way out. <laughs> Not even pointing the gun at him. <laughs> Please, stop. This guy is terrible. It's like 100% that guy needs a demotion. And somehow he's at the lead. It's over. On your knees, hands behind your head. I don't think so, buddy. Easy, pal. There's nowhere to go. You're surrounded. Holy fuck! Sherlock's easy, too. Taxi! <laughs> ah, yes, fine, sir. Please take me to the site of my son's uh, murder, please. Hey, what's the matter with you? Unfortunately, we don't have jurisdiction on the street. We're sidewalk cops only. Uh, Breaker Breaker, he's the world's fastest man. Who's that guy? He's a robust private eye. Got a partner more competent than him. Yo, no, 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 stop. There, I've never in my er earthly existence seen a doorknob in the center of a door. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave he me has no a choice. food baby. Your investigation is over. <sighs> For good. Alright, here we go. Don't let Shelby Lauren. die. No. No. Let Lauren no. die if you have to. Shit. Extremely bad for her. Oh. Well, I really thought that by looking to the right, it was gonna initiate save Lauren protocol, but uh, nope, instead we just kicked out her window and bounced. <laughs> Very sorry about that one. <laughs> he even put his arm on the seat to give himself some extra leverage. Sorry about that. Um, Bastard. There were two prompts? Yeah, how do I know the hold prompt is not saver? Obviously, hold prompt is break the window and press prompt is freer. No, I'm not gonna actually restart, and in my defense, Lauren kinda sucked. Why was she apologizing then? 
Oh, you know, as a Canadian, when you apologize, it can't legally be held against you as an admission of guilt. Yeah, we're going John Wick, dude. Oh! Something uh, pool-related pun. Kobe. John Wick. <laughs> He's so good! This is honestly just getting comical. <laughs> oh! There we go, there's another one right through the window. It's like playing Mad Dog McCree. You guys ever see The Matrix? <laughs> you know this dude's got an extended mag. Stay back! Don't come near me, or I'll shoot! <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Please! It's the part of the game where the villain gets sniveling. I remember. Choked the life out of him. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. No, he's not a killer. Not a killer. You gotta knock his head off with a golf club. It's the most ironic and fitting ending. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No. No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear! I don't know anything! Oh. Oh. Stop! Stop! I feel like I have a choice here, but, like... I'll tell you everything. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid, and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. So he's not, not the origami accident. killer. He's an origami killer. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Still a murderer. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh, you disgusting pile of shit. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. Why should he just murder? His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. That girl, Lauren. D what? She just quit while you're ahead, dude. Don't forget her in no time. Work for me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. We haven't had all the girls you want. Never say her name again. You hear me? Never. Hey, Shelby, you're looking a little chubby there, huh? Just when I thought I was about to get away scot free, I'm gonna goad you into murder again. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need Plus, my pills. I'm dying! In that draw! You're there. not dying. Gordy. Well, I got the news. I definitely have heart attack. Um, I just want to, like, get the medication and then hold it over him, of course. And let him die. Fucking bastard. Let him die. I want to say something. I want to be like, he killed keep Laura. the change. He got what he deserved. Shelby! Come back! I fucking order you! Come back! Sorry, sir. Didn't have the heart to tell you. 
Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. AKA oh, no. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard. Do I look like a nurse? Look at this jacket. Pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... Classic American outlook. And by outlook, I mean outlet. I botched the joke. What I'm getting at is those are not American outlets. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. No, I don't like this angle. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? We gotta start. We gotta press. If we're gonna press her, we gotta hit her from you the end of the bed. a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. She's stalling for time. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. You see, it was in the pre-electricity era. Me and my husband, me, Benjamin Franklin, yes, were hanging out with Mrs. Jesus Shepherd. on the back of a Tyrannosaurus John Rex at the dawn of the Earth's existence. My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? No, Is dearie, that that's a photograph. They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Did she want some flowers? Is that how we finish this one? I saw that little flowers prompt came up. She keeps her uh, sultry walk, regardless of the context of the situation, huh? Look at that. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? That's her drinking water? Not anymore. The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. Yo, I lady! Them, you know. We're not and all on borrowed time here, okay? My little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic come closer QTE. Oh, sorry. Botched that one a little bit. Just want to make you work for it. It's dairy, please. It's, it's, you almost have got okay. It's the end of Lost in Translation. We didn't own a radio when I was younger. Yeah, I mean, like it can only be Mars, right? Like it's got to be Ethan's family. The last origami figure. The last trial. 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 Dude, Airy, up my prescription, please. The last origami figure. The last trial. Trial. The last origami the figure? Last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. 
it will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. I mean, we're probably gonna do it, to be honest with you, but first we gotta take a quick little peek, right? Is there a way out of this situation? Doesn't appear so. Well... I'll be drinking this poison then. at this point. Mm. Tastes like fizzy fuzz. Mm. 25 shields? Oh no, he, it's the frame rate poison. The last letters have been sent to your phone. Um... So even though I drank the poison, I still got to play hangman? I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. You missed the other ones? Oh, that's right. I didn't murder that dude. I definitely should not have consumed the poison, man. You guys are right about that one. I am nowhere, and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letter from this fucking fucking address. Come on. There's gotta be a way to do this! Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. We hear we hear boats. Seagulls. Alright. I'm going big water. That's like a cargo ship or something. Big water. Let's go. You know what would be really messed up? Is if it was just like... Somebody was watching a movie in a movie theater. And it was just a movie about boats. We didn't realize. It's actually 852 Theodore Roosevelt Park with a C. Which is an extremely common name for a road in North America. Ari, I said cancel my appointments, few more please. Hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. This is him trying to find the clitoris. The face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles. All packed up and ready to go. He's still trying to catch the angry video game nerd. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So Give me those beautiful off. glasses. Fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Who's Norman? This is Naman. It's two different things. I am literally shaking right now. Just had a confrontation with a co-worker. Twitter, you won't believe it. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Yeah. Perhaps there's something on it. Peep it. Dude, this would get like 8 million views on YouTube. You can stop and analyze in the middle. Alright, let's do that real quick. Got a chance. Play the video. What a convenient way to do this. What? 
clap, clapping, dude. I stopped it. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like trying to program the time on your VCR. I did stop instead of pause. Okay, you, you play the video. Give me a quick little pause. There you go. No claps. No claps necessary. Goat watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Larry? Larry's the origami killer? Larry? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Trace its history with some analysis. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Question, question mark clue. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame... <laughs> Only one watch. origami store in town. Inve in Gotta investigate a little... I don't know, maybe we can... Invest we don't have enough... Do it's due process, okay? The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. That's Blake! He is intelligent, calm, and determined. Not Blake! An organized type. He has a car. Fed cat. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Analysis impossible. Give me a geo-analysis of this question mark, please. A cop. There's only one cop in that geo-profiling zone. Please be Norman. Gotcha. Uh, Norman. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Norman, Norman your there. eye? Jeez, kid, get the lead out. Nice leisurely jog. Come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Dad. Crap. Papa, get the baguette. Please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. Well, it's the tiniest band-aid. Censored alcohol. I tried, John. I really tried. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like you gotta die. die. There's no Please other don't option. Die, John. Please. Dad'll sober up in three or four days. Just hang on. Don't, don't forget about Chris Gardy. You don't go forget about me. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Scott Shelby is the origami killer. Some say that body's still there to this day, taking an absolute pounding from the sewer vein. makes approximately no sense. Yep. Well, <laughs> six or seven days, that thing will be completely eviscerated. Oh, okay. So he was... Pretending to be a detective, and he got all of his loose ends, and is burning them up. I wanna, I wanna throw one little monkey wrench into your plan here, Scott Shelby. Why didn't you just not send them the fucking clues in the first place? You absolute idiot. I just have like, okay, like, f 
At first I was like, you know what, at least this makes sense that he visited the old guy, and then the old guy died. But I'm like, how did- who shot the old guy then? Did they just lie to us? Who shot the old guy in the typewriter shop? He did, and they just showed us something different. Amazing. I thought he said we have to go check on Manfred, and then they went back here and he was dead, but that's my mistake. It's one of those things that gets you in a mystery movie, right? Is when, um, you know, you're there, you're trying to piece together all the clues for yourself, and then uh, the game's like, hey, remember that part that you thought was a clue? We were just lying to you. I'm sorry to tell you. Don't. It's a cursed doorknob. Like, I'm still looking at this cursed door, oh God, wondering how it even carpet. opens. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Shit, it needs a password. Oh, that's good. This is the height of security. Shepherd, rain, orchid, origami. Let's try Shepherd. I mean, Max is the three-character string, but oh, all right. Max. Well, that's how you know. John gave to his that's the truest thing the in this game so far. Is what the hell if is you want to hack somebody's account and they're over the age of address. forty-five, start with the three-letter words. Hurry! There's no time to lose. Here goes Max. About to be, yep, I knew she'd so be betrayed by secret. her own ambition it's over, Scott. again. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. It locks from the outside. Yo, there we go. Yo, you're gonna make me lose my deposit. We're here at Scott Shelby's apartment. He wants us to knock down the wall from his illegal dungeon so he can have an ensuite next to his orchid gallery. Unfortunately, his living room's also on fire, and that's gonna cut into our budget for this project. Please. Please! Ethan needs something to live for after this is all over. Shelby, you criminal mastermind. door. Locks from the outside, naturally, like all apartments do. Maybe one more time? No. Bit of a waste. Just go ahead in the refrigerator, okay? There you go. Close the door. Fire. 
notoriously respects your privacy. No, 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 they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. It's just like, I would have heard about it if they did this. She's just gonna burn to death in this refrigerator. Pardon me? <laughs> isn't, she just, isn't she just gonna get like baked in the refrigerator? Call Jaden. Call, call Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Confirm. Get on only catch the killer. I want to save Ethan. Can't bake in a fridge, it's cold in there. Absolutely true. So what happened is the fridge got launched out by the explosion and it dampened her because it was like she was wearing a suit of armor. I see your point. It's like prison, she only gets one call. Well, she's gotta get on her motorcycle. She could uh, call on her motorcycle, but that's a misdemeanor. Again, huh? I've been looking for a long, long time, Ethan. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not. Uh, I hate to interrupt you, but uh, Sean? Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> Oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then, I remembered you. Oh, it's Jeff Garland. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. Give me back He's my dead. Sean! All you have to do is open that grate. No, oh, Shelby, you son of a bitch! Yeah, okay. Use the gun to shoot the lock, you madman. It's like you've never played video games. I actually just punched myself in the testicles trying to do that. London. Why is it I'm trying to save the kid from the grudge? That's him, that's Sean. That's Sean, we saved him. Soggy Sean. Guys, we saved Sean. The Sean. Jason's next, dude. It's the battle of the two heavyweight champions of QTEs. If I ever get Arion, you're done for. I'm gonna hit you with a tactical laser blast right to the jugular vein. 
slice right through the trachea, eviscerate the carotid artery, get home in time for fucking Sports Center. What is this? The garbage? Hold up. Be cool. This the, looks like my factorial Suspect situation. Likely to be okay, armed and jokes on flying fast and furious. I'm trying to shoot. It looks like something NL built in Factorio. There you go. Ash, are the snipers in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Yo, that thing's definitely getting cracked. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Take one button down. Lieutenant. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. QTEs. Right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. That was tough. Uh, Easier. Why would she say she's a journalist? Well, if she's a journalist, she has to tell you. Dude, I got more bruises on my fucking hand from doing these motion controls. You gotta get a whole, like, room-scale, heavy-rain QTE setup if you want to do these without bashing your hand all over your desk. Sean. 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 Sean, I already drank the poison. You just breathed poison into him. <laughs> oh, who would have thought? Oh, oh, oh Sean. Oh. Oh. I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad. I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. You didn't have to say that. It was very nice of you to. Sean, listen. Let your father die on a happy note. Thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. Whoa, dude! I... I'm not dead. <laughs> I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not well, dead. When I said an hour, I didn't mean, like, literally. <laughs> I mean, there's, like, biological processes and buffer zones and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, it could, it could be anywhere between 55 minutes and an hour and a half, really, when you think about it, so... What the? Skirt. Another skirt? Now she's just being annoying. What are you doing? You're just spraying them? That it serves you right, honestly. Crap. What do we do? Attention all personnel, hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. Madison? What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look. We'll no, send Sean out. out. With, with our hands in the air, and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Somebody want to check on Sean real quick? Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. He still looks like a little That's morose. Okay. You'd think he'd be over it. The only it. thing that matters is that you saved your son. Oh, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Who throws away a perfectly good <laughs> sledgehammer?
to finally that gambit actually worked. Okay, he should be able to hold himself Save for approximately me. one Please. nanosecond. I'm thinking like... You know what? Let's let the game decide. Sorry, Shelby, but I got an axe to grind. <laughs> North American justice system? Every comment that reminds me. Buy meatloaf on the way home. So I don't want to be like too absurd about this, but like general relief this morning. They're just gonna let him drive away in the stolen car. Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. <laughs> the police commissioner presented him with an official. Can you look at the camera? Today, our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Origami Killer. Scott Shelby, 48. It, they put the cue cards on the ceiling? Claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. I like how he has a phone on his desk. Like at any point somebody could phone in and be like, hey, here's some news. It's like the final 12 minutes of the show. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Isn't this her old apartment? Well... What do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. Mm -hmm. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. I thought he was coming <laughs> in with two knives. Not the best venue for hide and seek, let's be honest. <laughs> what about his wife? Extremely valid? Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer. Please be wearing the sunglasses. And saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Who? Good evening. It's Crossfire? So, Norman, how do you feel about David Hogg? It's a montage of all the toilets we urinated in. Throw the trypto away. Let's go. Nancy Reagan was right, dude. Just flush that poison right into the city's water supply. Climbing a virtual ladder? I don't know why that scared me. I was like really scared by those tiny tanks.
Now I'm gonna get out of there, dude. What the fuck? Every <laughs> defense shield. Blake's inside one of the tanks. It must have been the it must have been the trip though, right? You had a mind meld accidentally. Trypto is good. It prevents the side effects of Aerie. Aerie's the thing you shouldn't have overused. What are David? Well, it seems to me you live your life like a Deus Ex Machina. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Oh, that's this is the credits. <laughs> Gun hard, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. Morning rain clouds in my city, and I can't sleep at all because the rain's so heavy it makes these sounds and so poo doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. 